Welcome back everybody, this is Trout. Tonight I'm going to do an update on my bend folding video. I've got some feedback from some of my colleagues at work that the audio quality was pretty low, making it very difficult to hear the video without turning up the volume on their computer really loud. So what I'm going to do is just a quick breeze through of how I do bend folding again, and we'll focus on just getting the work done right now. So let's get started. So we're going to hop into NeoVim. And then we're going to hop into uh, my key bindings file to start with. And in the key bindings file, you notice I have a couple maps here that I use. There's Z, V, Z, J, and Z, K. I'm going to demonstrate those being used right now. So anytime I do a Z, V, it closes any fold that's open and leaving just the current fold open. So normal folds would do a Z, a capital, a Z and then a capital M to close them all, and Z and R to open them. So in my case, what I can do is I can navigate between my folds and I can close them up. I can look around what I'm after. But if you notice, I have a very specific pattern to my folds. I start them with the language comment line marker. In this case, for Lua, it's two dashes. I follow it by a space. Then I follow it by the three open curly braces. And I close it with a dash line. I do this because when I do print these documents out at times, I have a nice visual separator on the printed page to make, to make it easy for me to find things. So if I go back and look at what's in section five, you know, I can use a navigation key once I'm on a fold to open it up and I can close it back really quickly just by doing a ZB and that closed the other folds that I'm not interested in. So when I exit a file and get out and come, and, and, um, come right back into the editor, if I go right back to that file, which in this case I was doing um, the uh, key bindings file, you'll notice that it went right back to that location in the file, the last fold I had open. So if this fold was closed and I, I, I wrote and quit the file and got out and I went right back in, I opened up the same file again, you're going to see it go, oh, I'm sorry, wrong file. I go right back to that file, you notice that it's open, That's, and I'll explain that in just a second. So in this particular case, the, I, the cursor when I exit the file was actually inside of the fold. If I close the fold and go to the top of the file and get out and go right back in, you're going to see that this time the, the file is completely folded except for that first line. It all depends on what's going on with the file. And you'll see another file I open up here in just a minute that the fold is collapsed because the very first line of the file is outside of the fold. So we'll take a look at that really quick. So if I bring in my utilities file, which is where I put all of my um, add plugin setups for an Lua Vim, you notice the very first line in the state code is a, a return statement that's outside of the Vim fold. As soon as I move into the folds, I can navigate the folds the way I was before. So I'm doing my J, my, my Shift J, my Shift K. The other thing that's really cool to remember about folds is you can move them really quickly. So if I just delete the entire fold, and I can go down somewhere else in the code and I paste it, you can see that the fold itself has been moved around. Um, if I want to prove that to myself, I can do something like, um, I can bring up Fugitive and ask for the status on that. Well, I haven't saved the file yet, so let me go back a second. If I write the file and then I do a diff on it, it's going to show me the change that I made. So I'm using Fugitive to do that sort of thing. Obviously, this is just for demo purposes, so I don't want to keep that change. So going back to uh, Fugitive itself, um, I, would, I would go and navigate up to that buffer and I would just do a capital X and delete that, cha that, uh, that change that I made. So it's like I never edited the file at all. So moving on, if I look at my uh, option settings, in the option setting, what, what you're gonna see is what's important is, is these three lines right here. I pulled the folds, uh, I used the fold keyword, fill characters fold and it's equal to a space. The fold level in this particular context, I want at zero. So I want folds to be as tight as I can get them, and I'm also using a method marker. So with those three keywords set in your in your configuration file of, of your LuaVim or NeoVim, depending on which environment you're using, it, it works really nicely. And, and so the other thing that we can take a look at really quick is the auto commands. So if we take a look at auto commands, what we're gonna see in the auto commands is <clears throat> anytime there is a um, Fold active. I'm sorry, not fold active. Anytime I'm, I want to retain where I was in the buffer. This this auto command right here, which is fire the event buff read post, remembers where I was in the file when I when I 
the last edit to this file. So in this case, if I close up the folds and I close everything up, and then I just go take a look at, um, go to the last location when the file was open, uh, when opening file, so there's a typo right there, so let's go fix that. So if we hop over to that next location, open up, correct it, wipe the file, do a WQ, and just go right back into the OVIN and go back to the file that I was just in, which was the auto commands. By the way, I'm using telescope, so you see the way I got telescope set up. Um, so I go right back in, and I right the, the cursor is right where I left off the last time I edited this file. Um, so we covered my options. So the options again, it's it's your fill, cares, fold level, and fold method in your key bindings. You might want to do something like um, set your set your fold keys so I can search for fold. And it goes right to that location. And you see I've got three unique key maps that allow me to do navigation. Uh, you see where I found this is by Carl on Carl's site, a really good uh, author for VIM plugins, um, for, for VIM Wiki and for VimTech. So I found these because I found them very useful for navigating. And then we will take a look at, so we've got the options, you've got the key bindings and the auto keys, uh, auto commands, and uh, utilities, uh, options, I'm sorry. So let's go look at options. Let's take a look at telescope really quick. Find buffer, find buffer. Okay, so we've got the auto commands, we've got the options, we've got the key bindings, and then just as an example, we will also get out of this and we will look at the utilities again. So this is all of my VIM plugins right here that I'm using. So in this particular file, again, when I exit this file and come back in, it will lead me where I last left off. Assuming I'm inside of the fold, the fold will open. So if we go down to telescope as an example, we go into that fold and we look and we just put the cursor on line 369 and we get out of the telescope, or we, I'm sorry, we get out again, go right back in and do a fire file, go right back to util, boom, I'm right back where I left off. And notice as I navigate around, the other folds have closed. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, hit the like button, leave me some comments so I can try to improve my content. Again, thank you for watching.